Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. Ubuntu 2310 was released this week, and as always, I'm here with a full review. What I'm going to do is show you what's different in this new release. I'll also show you the brand new installer because it's changed more in this release than most of the others in the past, and I'll give you my thoughts about this release as well. With the previous release, Ubuntu 2304, which I reviewed earlier this year, that was a release I had a ton of problems with. Even getting it installed was very tedious. There was crashes during the installation, display issues. It was a release that I found was barely usable. So has Ubuntu fixed these issues in the latest release? Well, I'll go over that as well. And you know what? Without any further hesitation, let's dive into Ubuntu 2310. And here it is in all its glory. What you're looking at is a fresh installation of Ubuntu 2310 on my Thelio desktop. This new release features version 45 of the GNOME desktop, Linux kernel 6.5, and a completely updated set of packages ready for installation. So let's go over some of the new features right now in no particular order. And one of the first things that I'm going to point out is the brand new activities button up here at the upper left corner of the screen. Instead of saying activities, we have an icon instead, and it might look a little strange if you don't know what the context is here, but what that icon represents is which virtual desktop you're currently connected to. So if I go ahead and go to the next workspace, you'll notice that the icon actually changed as I switch between workspaces. And it's also synchronized to the animation as well, or at least it looks that way to me. As you can see, as I switch workspaces, the icon responds immediately. So let's have a little bit of fun here. So I'll just open up an app right here, just the file manager, I guess, is good enough. I'll switch to another workspace, and maybe I'll open up Firefox. Now notice how there's another dot up here after I open this app right here. So what we have is an indicator regarding which desktop we're connected to, and this icon updates as we add additional workspaces. So on the third workspace, I'll just open up a new window for the file manager here. You can see a new dot appeared up here, so we have an indicator when it comes to which desktop we're connected to, like I mentioned, and I think that's really cool. As we close applications, we can also see that that icon responded. I think that's really brilliant. And that's not an Ubuntu-specific change. What you just saw was an update in GNOME 45 itself. But one change that is specific to Ubuntu, or at least when it comes to what's pre-installed, is the new tiling mode. And this new feature is known as Tiling Assist. And the way this works, if I open up an application like Files, what I could do is go ahead and move it to the right-hand side of the screen. And then, of course, I can open up another window. Doesn't matter which application it is, but you can simply tile to the left side, to the right side. You could also do quarter tiling as well. And watch what happens when I resize one of the windows. Notice how both of them are resizing. Again, this might not look like an amazing new cutting edge feature here. It's a welcome feature, and it's something that other operating systems have had for a while, and GNOME has had to some varying degree over the years, but it is a pretty solid implementation. This is the Tiling Assist extension for GNOME, which you could download with any distribution that features an updated version of GNOME, but it's included by default here in Ubuntu. But one of the biggest changes when it comes to Ubuntu 2310 is with the new installer. The new installer was completely redesigned and is now based on Flutter instead of GTK. The new installer is based on Subiquity, which is the same installer that the server version of Ubuntu uses, but the new release of the Ubuntu desktop includes this new installer and has been, well, changed to fit the desktop paradigm here because we have desktop-related options, and I think it's a great installer. For the most part, the process of installing Ubuntu is more or less the same in 2310, but with this new installer, there are variations beyond the way that it looks. Perhaps the biggest change is with the selection of software that comes pre-installed out of the box. Previous releases of Ubuntu would give you everything but the kitchen sink by default, meaning you'd have an entire suite of applications that you may or may not need out of the box from a fresh installation. Later on, Ubuntu included an optional minimal mode that would include a smaller set of software that you could choose if you wanted to do so, that way, you could get a more stripped down installation. With 2310, we have the same options, but it's been expanded a bit 
pun intended, there's an expanded mode which gives you a full suite of applications, but the default mode now doesn't give you a full suite of applications. So if you choose the default installation, then you're going to have a minimal installation by default. So it's a bit flipped and renamed, same idea, but I just want you to know that if you choose the default option, you're technically choosing what was previously known as the minimal mode, and the expanded option is now what the previous default used to be. In addition, the ZFS option is back as well, which was previously missing, so if you wanted to set up ZFS on root, you can now use that option again with the Ubuntu 23.10 installer. Another new feature with the new installer, similar to the server installer, is the fact that it can be updated to a newer version if improvements have been made. If an update is available, the installer will ask you if you want to download the new installer, and if you click on the button, then, well, it does exactly that. It downloads the newer version of the installer, and it's able to update the installer separately from the ISO image, so even if you have an older ISO image for Ubuntu 23.10, assuming they ever do make a new version available, you can update to the newer installer anytime, which I think is pretty cool. Overall, the new installer is great. It's not a major change when it comes to what's visible, but it looks more modern and it definitely gets the job done. The only complaint I have with the installer is fairly small. I feel like the update option should be closer to the beginning of the process because by the time you get to the question where it asks you if you want to update the installer, by then you've already clicked on a few things and answered some questions. So if you do update the installer, it needs to restart the installer in order to take advantage of the changes, which also means you're going to lose any answers to the questions that you've answered up to that point. So it would make more sense to me if the installer updated at the beginning, but you know, that's a very minor complaint because there weren't that many questions before that anyway, but I just thought it was something interesting to mention. That said, the fact that I only have that to complain about is a good sign. The previous release of Ubuntu had major issues with the installer, to the point where getting it installed at all took several attempts due to crashes while attempting to navigate the installation process. It's one of the main reasons why I reviewed the previous release so negatively. It was a release to avoid, in my opinion, because it had crashes, the installer would barely work. But thankfully, those issues appear to be fixed in Ubuntu 23.10. On the same exact hardware that I used last time, there were no problems whatsoever. So, kudos to the Ubuntu developers for getting everything fixed. Now, another change that I think is very welcome is the fact that the App Center has been completely rewritten. Right here is the App Center icon, so when I click on that, the new App Center will appear. And I think it looks more modern, similar to how the installer looked, but this application here is for installing new pieces of software, and I think it does the job very well. All you have to do is just click on an application that you want, for example, I'll click on Remina right here, and then you simply click install, and the process isn't really all that different from the previous version. So as always, we type in our password, and then the application will proceed to install. So the basic functionality is the same, but I find it more responsive, and I think that's a great thing. Another change I noticed is that it says manage right here, which is a different verbiage when it comes to updating the applications that are installed. But as you can see, the App Center here is, well, it's pretty good. It gets the job done, and I've had no problems whatsoever. So we can see that Remina is now installed, so that worked just fine. But anyway, that's where updates are available. So if you need to install updates, well, that's where you go. But overall, I find the new software store, or App Center, very responsive. We can search for an application just like we could before. The search is very fast, so no problems there. I think the App Center is a very pleasant experience, so I don't personally think anybody's going to have any complaints about this, unless, of course, they prefer to do everything, you know, by the command line, but that's fine. The installer is effective and it gets the job done. Also, just like with previous releases of Ubuntu, performance is pretty good. I feel like performance improves with every release. It's not always noticeable, but I haven't noticed a release of Ubuntu that has been, well, slower or less responsive than a previous release. I feel like the developers do a pretty good job of increasing performance. Now we have Linux kernel 6.5, which is really cool. And we also have TPM enabled encryption with the installer. So if you want to use your TPM module for the encryption, you can now do that, which is a really great thing. Overall, the performance of Ubuntu is really good in general, and 
I haven't had any problems while testing this release. Unlike the previous one, which barely worked at all, I feel like this release is one of the best releases of Ubuntu to come out in quite some time. I mean, it has an updated installer, an app center that's very responsive, a responsive desktop, the latest GNOME. There's all kinds of things here that I think are great to have. This is a fantastic release of Ubuntu, and I do recommend it. If you are already an Ubuntu user, then feel free to upgrade to this release. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. The installer is fast. I really love the redesigned installer in general. I think it's awesome. I like the fact that the ZFS option has returned. I also enjoy the new App Center. That's also responsive. The desktop is responsive. So if you're a fan of Ubuntu, I think you're really going to love this new release. And outside of the features that I've mentioned, GNOME 45 provides the majority of the new features in this release. I do feel like Ubuntu 2310 includes some great new features. I mean, two of the apps were redesigned, the installer as well as the app center, so that's really cool. And there's been visual changes made as well. But when it comes to the major changes or the most prominent changes in Ubuntu, it's always going to be the packages behind the scenes that make this happen. Linux kernel 6.5, GNOME 45, and all the other packages are, well, coming together to form this new release, and I feel like the Ubuntu developers have done a really good job. Regardless, let me know what you thought of this release in the comments down below, or this review in general. I look forward to reading what you guys have to say. If you're on the fence about trying Ubuntu 2310, go ahead and try it. I think this is something that you might quite enjoy. In the meantime, though, go ahead and subscribe to Learn Linux TV for the latest in Linux if you haven't already done that, and I'll see you in the next video.